That's it. I've had enough. Clear off. And don't come back till you're ready to do business properly. But I've got the coin. I swear it. I simply just... Where is it then, eh? Bring the coin, all of it, or I'll call the sentinels on you again. Are we clear? The lad seemed rather ignorant of the world. Hasn't had anyone to show him the proper way, I'd wager. Oh, tis you. You're a welcome sight. Forgive my boldness, but I've a small favor to ask of you. Would you be willing to lend me some gold? I swear you'll be repaid in full. A trinket in yon shop caught my eye. A small, ornate box of exceptional craftsmanship. Alas, twould seem I do not have the coin on hand to purchase it. I can certainly procure the gold later, but by then, the box might be gone. If you'd be kind enough to lend me the amount I need, I would repay every last coin. This looks like the yes? Is there aught I can do for you? Or could it be... Are you sure? Oh, many thanks. I shall repay you anon. You've my word. Not you again. I thought I made myself quite clear. Ah, but I've brought the gold this time. I assume that changes things. Oh, well, I, if you've got the gold, then you're welcome to spend it. My thanks. I finally have what I came for. And worry not, you'll have your coin back in good time, I promise you. This looks as good a place as any. I've got to make room for my next ship. Rain in. I'll have an early supper. We meet again. Truth be told, I was hoping we might. Would you care to stay and talk a moment? I'm glad. Sit down, won't you? I'm rather fond of this place. I never imagined a city could be like this. So full of excitement. So alive. And how could I have? In all my life, I've hardly left the palace. My mother is quite strict. You understand. Oft did I long for a taste of normal life. Even aught as simple as going shopping for myself. My mother has always procured the things I covet for me, so to pick out an item and obtain it with my own hands held a certain appeal. Which reminds me. I owe you a debt. I fear I cannot repay the full sum all at once. I have rather little in the way of spending money. Pray, take this for now. You'll have more when next we meet. My apologies, friend, but I'd best be going. I mustn't let Mother find out I left the palace. Thank you for indulging me. I do hope we'll see each other anon. Till then, farewell. Hoy! Faring well, I hope. Would you care to join me? I'd not say no to a bit of company. I was hoping you'd say that. Do you know, I had a feeling we'd meet here today. Say, you're not from round here, are you? Are you a traveler? Have you seen many places? How I envy you. This city is all I know. I long to learn more of the outside world, but... Mother won't allow it. She's always telling me how dangerous it is beyond the palace walls. But that only makes me question her judgment all the more. After all, if the world truly is so perilous, what of the lives of our people? They must be fraught with uncertainty, subject to harsh conditions. It seems unfair that I alone should be shielded from that reality. But listen to me waffling on. <laughs> ah, I almost forgot. Here. I brought more of the money I owe you. I should have the remainder ready by our next meeting. My apologies, friend, but I'd best be going. I mustn't let Mother find out I left the palace. Thank you for indulging me. I do hope we'll see each other anon. Till then, farewell. Hoy, friend! 
Have you any time for me today? I dare say we're overdue another talk. There's something I've come to understand during my stolen hours exploring these streets, and I wanted to share it with you. Every last resident in this city is wholeheartedly devoted to living out their lives. It seems a simple observation, I know, but to me, it was a revelation, for it made me painfully aware of my own position. Can this existence of mine even be called living when I am so doted upon by my mother? I want to live a life I can proudly call my own and to achieve it with all that my heart desires. I tire of enduring my mother's coddling and of having to mind every twitch in her face in order to appease her. Looking at this box, it fills me with courage. It is proof that I am not my mother's servant to be willed about as she pleases. It is something I obtained of my own will. Here is the last of the gold I owe you. Pray forgive me for making you wait for it. Now, I'd best be off. I may not be able to wander the city again for some time, there's aught I would do. Thus, I cannot say when next we'll see each other, though I feel sure we shall in time. Uh, perhaps sooner than we might think. <laughs> Till then, take care, friend. That was quite a gift. I hope that procuring it was not a burden upon the lad.